Andy here, um, another little WordPress tip for you. Uh, if we go into settings in general, there is an admin email address associated to every WordPress site. It's where update notifications go, all kinds of information like that. Now, you'll often find that when you take over a site, uh, when the developer hands it over to you, you might find that it's their email address in here, not yours. So you're gonna wanna change that to your email address. Now the problem is, if I type in a new email address here and hit save, you can see that it says that the new address won't become active until it's confirmed. So what that means is the old email address will receive an email with a link in it, someone has to click to authorize it. Now, often that's okay, but it might be a case that you no longer have contact with the old developer or that email address is no longer valid, in which case you can't use this to change the email address. Now, there's one way of doing it, uh, which I did for a long time, which would be accessing the database directly and changing the settings in there, and that would do it. But it's a bit technical and it's not necessarily the easiest way to do it. So after I'd been doing that for more time than I care to admit, um, I found out I've, there is another way to do it, and that's what I'm going to share with you now. So up here in the address bar, it says options general. Now, if I change that so that it just says options, it gives me a new page, a secret page that very few people seem to know about. And that lists lots and lots of configuration options. And if we scroll, 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 one of them is the admin email. So if I change that, let's call it spam instead of no spam, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit save changes. Now, if we go back into our settings and general page, it's changed and it didn't need to send an email. It's all done, end of, you don't need to do anything else. So it's a really easy way of doing it if you know where to find the options. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, that's Andy from andy-powell.net. If you have any WordPress issues, anything like that, ping me an email or leave a comment below.